Today we are making an easy five minute chocolate cake that can be made with no oven. To start, simply add one and a half cups of all purpose flour, two thirds cups of unsweetened cocoa powder, three fourths cups of sugar, three teaspoons of baking powder, a half cup of melted butter, and one and three fourths cups of warm plant-based milk. Next, grease a nine by 10 inch microwave safe container. Fill with batter, making sure you don't fill over halfway. The baking time here will depend on the size of your dish. I'm making a small cake, so I'm checking after every minute and cooking for three minutes total. Now for a larger dish, we'll check after five minutes and cook until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. Allow to cool for 15 minutes while preparing the frosting. To a blender, add three cups of powdered sugar, two cups of unsweetened cocoa powder, a cup of softened butter, one third cups of boiling water, two ounces of dark chocolate. You'll want to melt the chocolate before by adding a half a teaspoon of boiling water. Add a pinch of salt and blend and help. To frost the cake, we need a couple of items, including a turntable. If you don't have one, you can use a large pot turned upside down. We also need parchment paper, a spatula, a butter knife, and one of these icing smoothers. When the cake is completely cool, use a knife to loosen the edge and transfer to a cutting board. The top is not pretty at this point, but don't worry, we're going to fix this in a second. Lay down your parchment paper and transfer again to your workspace. Add a scoop of frosting to the top of your cake and smooth. Make sure you are generous with the frosting. You can always scrape some of it off in the end, but if you use too little, you risk pulling off crumbs from the cake into the frosting. Move in sections around each part of the cake and don't worry about making it perfect. The icing smoother can roll over any mistakes. When completely frosted, transfer to a serving plate and carefully remove the parchment paper. Make any last minute touch ups and enjoy. The full recipe and measurements for this video are in the description and comment box below. While you're down there, let me know what you thought of this video and feel free to give me any comments or suggestions. Mahalo, stay safe, and I'll see you in the kitchen.